would like to talk about uh, the idea of org swindle that's going on within Scientology right now. Um, because this was the thing that made me realize that the C organization is actually corrupt and is being used for corrupt purposes. Uh, specifically, I was involved with the Ideal Org program from the very, very beginning. The Ideal Org program was put out to us uh, in management as the, the handling to handle everything in regards to the churches and getting them to expand and be prosperous and be wonderful places that we all dreamed that they could be and we all wanted them to be. And I'm talking about the staff and the public. And we were, we, a picture was painted that the reason why the churches were not expanding and were not successful is because they weren't big enough, we weren't putting them there enough, and if we just slam dunk them into place, everything would be wonderful. And that was how it was presented. And we all believed it. hope was generated with that, and therefore a lot of work was generated, because that's what we all wanted, and we thought the answer was right there. So we started putting all this work into getting the parishioners to donate money, to buy these buildings, right, to, to locate the buildings to buy, and to build them up, and to fix them up, and to get a lot of staff, uh, and get them staffed up with, with, with a lot of people. And the parishioners were really sold on this, because we were really sold on it. We ran around and we talked about how wonderful things were going to be, and this was going to be the dream to end all dreams in Scientology, because we were finally going to achieve planetary salvation. So, what ended up happening is, and, and what I saw with my own two eyes, because I worked directly on this for years, is big buildings were bought, a lot of money was raised uh, to renovate those buildings. And a lot of parishioner dreams went into this. And then, once the building opened... Johannesburg, wellspring of a new African civilization and the spark that ignited an ideal org movement across the continent. Buffalo, an ideal org to revitalize the lifeblood of America and right on Main Street, USA. San Francisco, a world-class org for a world-class city and now ringed by 75 groups of missions. Los Gatos, seeding our technology through the information highway. Stevens Creek for the whole span of IT services and industries across San Jose. Madrid, right next door to Spanish Parliament and catalyst for religious recognition in Spain. New York, just off Times Square, it's honor the heroism of our ground zero BS. That was it. Nothing really happened after that. There were no uh, big efforts made to train the staff to get new people in. It was promised earlier that this was going to be all about getting new people in and bringing the word of Scientology to the world. But when the big building opened, nothing happened. There were no droves of new people coming in. There was no big campaigns to spread the word of Dianetics and Scientology. Instead, and I witnessed this with my own two eyes over and over again, there was further efforts to make more money through these big buildings by painting a picture of our success with a big empty building. Look at how prosperous and successful we are. Now you need to give more money to the IAS. Greetings, my fellow crusaders. You are one of us. Dauntless, defiant, and resolute. Gather the troops, every man, woman, and child in your land, and engage them in a quest for total freedom. L. Ron Hubbard said that when all strengths and forces are aligned to a single thrust, a tremendous amount of power can be developed. So go, go and fight. Fight for freedom! And the IAS is, there's no exchange with the IAS. And this is an important aspect of this. This is the corruption.
give to the IAS, you're giving to a nameless, faceless entity that may or may not be doing anything with it. You don't know where the money's going. L'Église de Scientologie de Belgique, poursuivie par la justice. Une enquête qui concerne la branche belge de l'organisation américaine et deux de ses hauts cadres. Et les chefs d'inculpation sont clairs. Pratique illégale de l'art de soigner, escroquerie, extorsion, faux usage de faux, violation du respect de la vie privée et organisation criminelle. En réalité, tout commence en 2008. Une plainte est déposée. Le juge Claise mène l'enquête et en avril, des perquisitions sont menées. There's no accountability. There's no record. And if you ask for some accountability, if you ask for some records, you receive a lot of trouble. Yes, you are the one who is wrong for asking such things. In any other charitable organization in the world, full accountability and transparency is expected. Not in Scientology. If you're a Scientologist and you're wondering where your money's going, just ask and find out what happens.